Hi, my name is Eamon Lee and I'm one of the corporate chefs from Maine's Paper and Food Service and I'm here today to talk about a very exciting new block ready meat program that you're going to find available at your local Maine source store. Block ready means that they've taken a piece of meat that up until now only chefs or restaurants have been able to get. They offer it to you and it's all trimmed up and ready to go so all you have to do is portion it back at your house to your own needs. So, what that really means is you're no longer paying somebody else to actually butcher your meat. You can enjoy the same piece of meat at your own house. A couple of great benefits of this. First of all, it's always USDA choice meat. The second thing is when you're looking at one of these pieces of meat, it tells you what it is and also offers some serving suggestions and cooking methods. Great thing about this stuff if you take here and you peel this label back, you'll see that it actually offers you a recipe. Maybe you're not familiar with this type of meat or you saw it on TV prepared, but you're not quite sure how to go about it. This recipe will give you a great guideline to become familiar with it. Today I have in my hand a flat iron steak. This is really exciting because nowhere have you been able to find a flat iron steak at a retail level. This is a steak that only some of your favorite chefs have been using. The reason they call this a flat iron is if you don't cut it right, it actually eats like iron. Uh, but this actually is cut from the shoulder. It, it's cut from a ste uh, steak, they call it the uh, top blade steak. And it's very hard to fabricate or butcher as it were. But once you have this steak cut the way you can buy it at Main Source, believe it or not, it's the second most tender steak that you can find on a steer. Second only to beef tenderloin. So if that wasn't reason enough for you to try it, I don't know what is. Uh, we're going to show you how to cut this up and then we'll give you some serving suggestions. Okay, so here we have the flat iron is taken out of its cryovac and as you can see there's absolutely no trimming that needs to be done. This is about as easy as it gets. Now what I like to do when I'm looking at a steak is I give it the eyeball test. You don't need a scale to figure out how much you have to portion for each guest. I take the back of my knife and what I do is I make a little impression right into the steak and then I step back and I say to myself, does that look like it's good enough for Mom, is this good enough for dad? Is this good enough for the kids? If you don't like that, just take the back of the knife, smooth it out, and make another impression. And once you're satisfied with what you see, then it's just a matter of cutting it with a sharp knife. Now, quick note, if you're not happy with the knives that you have in your own kitchen, check out your local main source selection of knives. It's the exact same knives that you're gonna find in some of the best restaurants. Um, grab a sharp knife, and then really it's just a matter of going back to that same area that you cut your steak and then cut right through. And now you have your portions. It really is that easy. I like to take these portions and put them on a serving plate. And at this point, if you want to, you can put a little marinade on or use one of our culinary secret spice blends that lend themselves perfectly to this. Now the flat iron again, because it's so tender, you don't have to let this sit overnight. A quick seasoning and then go out to the grill couple of quick tips to make sure that this steak eats well. Let it come up to room temperature about an hour before you grill it. Go outside and grill it and when you bring it in before you actually serve it, let it rest for 15 minutes. You'll be amazed at the difference that it actually makes in the eating quality. So flat iron steak available at your main source store. Take it home and give it a shot. Until then, happy cooking.